Hi everybody, thanks for joining me in this video. This is another video that I have just released to you, second video today. <laughs> and um, I'm going to be talking about Nest Sunkissed Hibiscus. And what I have is the travel size, it is a spray, it also comes in a roller ball as well. It comes in uh, also in 50 mil and I believe 100 mil at some retailers. Uh, you can get this mostly at Sephora. I think it's well known perfume at Sephora among Sephora customers. And I've also seen it at Saks Fifth Avenue as well. I've never seen the 100 mil at Sephora. So Saks Fifth Avenue has the 100 mil. So what I can tell you about Nest. So uh, Nest Fragrances, I'll just tell you quickly, is made, was originally made uh, for the home. And people liked the home fragrances so much that they decided to come out with uh, a line of floral fragrances. Everything in that range is floral, with the exception of Cocoa Woods. And I believe that this has replaced Cocoa Woods. Cocoa Woods is now being discontinued. Um, if you go to Sephora, they have lots of them on sale about half price, so definitely grab it if you're really into that smell. I personally am. Out of all of them, that's probably my favorite out of the entire Nest um, floral range of perfumes because it's the least floral. Because <laughs> I'm not, like I've said before, not a huge on floral. Um, but anyway, let me tell you about this perfume. So this perfume is around $35 for this size, like I told you, and all of them are Eau de Parfum. And this is described as a warm floral. The top notes are coconut, frangipani. Middle notes are tuberose, gardenia, and orange blossoms. And the base notes are amber. So there's actually not a lot of notes in this. Um, so what I can tell you about this fragrance is that this is new. This just came out at the beginning of 2020. And I cannot find a perfumer that was behind this, which really sucks. I don't know, Nest doesn't really seem to uh, talk about it. Like the owner of Nest, she mentions that she goes to the greatest perfumers of the world and has them create these uh, perfumes, but she never mentions who. So I'm sorry, I can't tell you who else has done perfumes. But yes, um, so I'm going to spray it on this spray card. The sprayer on this is not bad actually. See, I got some on my cloth here. So I'm just going to let this dry a bit. Now when you spray perfume on a piece of paper or a card, don't go like this automatically. Just kind of wave it lightly. If you go too much like this, you're going to kind of not only you dry the alcohol, but you also um, make some of the oils evaporate quicker. Especially if it's citrus oils, which citrus oils don't really sit on anything for too long. So I'm going to give this a whiff now. Okay, so as I'm smelling this, I definitely smell that frangipani for sure. Frangipani is a tropical flower, as well as the coconut. Um, I definitely smell tuberose. Tuberose is a very strong flower. Um, gardenia, a little bit of the orange blossoms, because it has this fruitiness about it, and... I definitely smell something kind of slightly sweet citrus. And the amber, I feel like, is what's giving it that warmth. And this perfume is marketed for towards women. So um, I'm going to spray it on my skin now. And I've also sprayed it here already about six hours ago. So I'm going to start doing that. Every single time I make a video, I'm going to spray it and give you the perfume of the day and give you my review. So I'm going to spray it here. Okay, so on my skin, it smells a lot like orange blossoms, like quite a bit. Um, and that's what I smell right away. It smells like a fruity, coconutty smell. It's a little bit creamy as well. Now I'm going to smell it on this wrist that I've sprayed about six hours ago. And I'll tell you what that smells like. So at this point, it's become a skin scent. 
and it just smells like amber. That's pretty much all it smells like. With a touch of coconut. Um, and a little bit like sunscreen. I'm actually not wearing any sunscreen because I haven't, didn't go out today. So, on the wrist that I just sprayed it on, so this one here. Yeah, there's this milky creaminess about it that comes out. Um, the longevity of it on this wrist, I gotta be honest with you, it's not very good. Um, it's very, um, there is no seal it, sealage at all. <laughs> And um, also, the projection isn't really there, but um, I had a couple of my family members smell this, and they thought it smelled pretty good. They thought, thought it smelled very uh, fruity. And there's no hibiscus flower in it. Just so you know, when I read the notes, I was very surprised. No hibiscus flower. Fried Japandi, if you see pictures of it, it looks kind of like this. Um, the bottles are gorgeous, by the way. That is so beautiful. Um, this artwork is inspired by um, a British illustrator from the 18th century that did a lot of this kind of work, which is really beautiful. Very elegant looking bottles. Uh, Nest Home Products, I do like their candles a lot. They're pretty good, actually. I would definitely suggest getting that. So, yeah, so that's what I smell with these. So I definitely smell, out of anything else I smell... I smell coconut and tuberose together, but I don't know which one's which because tuberose tech has like a natural coconut scent to it. So after, I have to say, for my taste, this is a little too floral for me. It's a warm floral, for sure. If you're into warm florals, then go for it. If you want more like a fruity floral, I don't know if it's going to be that fruity. It's just it's like a hint of fruitiness because of the orange blossoms, but it's more of like a, like a creamy floral. Um, but it definitely smells like some sort of like expensive sunscreen for sure. That's really what it smells like to me. Um, but anyway, if I would have to rate this, I'd rate this about like maybe a 6.5 out of 10. And the reason why is because I don't feel like it's that unique. There are nicer ones out there. Definitely go into Sephora. Give it a sniff. You might think it's a little more unique or different or towards your taste. But for me, I have smelled more like summery perfumes. And I feel like I've smelled something more unique than this, personally. Um, I would have to say it smells a similar to Olympia by Paco Rabanne. If you're into that one, I personally am not really a fan of that one because it claims it's salty, but I don't think it smells that salty. I think it smells just like a generic fruity floral. So anyway, uh, thank you for watching my video and please do stay safe and keep social distance. Uh, when I went out yesterday, I didn't see a lot of people social distancing, but um, anyway, Canada's doing well. Keep it up. And United States, I really hope that everything goes well. I'm wishing you the best. I have family over there, and I really hope that they're that they're okay, for sure. But anyway, have a great day. Bye bye.